My name is Carlos Duran. I am from Barcelona. I have a degree on art history. I opened my gallery 26 years ago, Galleria Senda, and a few years ago we started with some partners the project Loop in Barcelona. We decided to open Loop basically for one reason. We always thought that the way that video art is presented in regular affairs and it's, not, it's not exactly appropriate for the media. The media deserves certain attention, certain attitude and many times when you are competing with photographs, paintings, sculpture or any other media that it's more direct and is less time uh, consuming, uh, video uh, gets a, a position where it's not benefiting the, the, the media. So we thought what was the, the, the right way to, to promote and to you know, uh, present what people were doing in, in, in films. And that's why we started developing uh, Loop. Loop is a combination of three different pillars, if you may say, three. One is uh, the festival that it spreads throughout the city. In the beginning, 15 years ago, when we opened Loop, it was almost a sin, uh, the fact of uh, collaborating in the same project, institutions like museums, public museums and private, uh, private spaces. But Loop managed to join uh, energies from different approaches and work for a common project, and that was promoting video art. Um, so the festival happens in many places, many venues in the city, depends on the years, they go from 100 to, to 75 venues that we um, uh, somehow engage and empower so they can uh, program uh, video creation or film, artist film creations and it goes from museums to galleries and to non-specific, uh, specifically art spaces or venues, but that they connect with the people from the city. So it's a good way to approach or to, to, to make the, the, the art creation closer to the, to the general public. Side by side to this, there is the fair, which is considered for us the, the professional meeting point where galleries, curators, artists, art historians, museum people get together, producers get together and they work for their passion and their interests. And of course there is a third pillar, the third pillar is the what we call the talks, which is, you know, it's like the, the place where we discuss in every year the interests or the different matters that somehow matter to the media, no? or to the people working in the media going from production to distribution to archives to to team working to anything that at the end has a common interest in the in the field okay look it's it's a platform that actually uh, is very open but it's very it's very curious what happens because every year there is like a let's say a natural selection and the people that comes basically is people that really want to be there and they have fun and they have interest in dealing, working, talking about video. Uh, it's basically international, this is something that still amuses and impress to all of us and especially also to, the, to, to our sponsors and to the government because there is a big, big crowd of international uh, people attending this, this agenda gap uh, that every year they save those days to be in Barcelona. Okay, if you want to talk about collectors, collectors of course it's, uh, I would say the collector of video art is probably the most avant-garde, of course, it's easier to collect painting, it's easier to collect any other media, but once you get into 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 films you I mean you need to be a little more sophisticated 
of course in the beginning we're all basically institutions and, and corporate collections and big foundations but more and more you, you can see that basically any inspired collector has already included a video in their in their program because it would be so strange not to do it I mean most of the artists or many of the artists are actually uh, working in this media even if it's not exclusively they you know it's it's let's say it's 20th and 21st century natural way of expressing the image and the movie and the we are all a generation, son of the TV, of the movies. Our culture is based on that, so it basically talks more direct to the, to the audience than many other uh, traditional fields. To buy video, it's really... Uh, the prices is still something so huge. I mean, you can find extremely good pieces for almost no money, like really, really inexpensive pieces and of course big, big productions from big artists they rise they reach very high prices um, again the prices I don't think is the is the is the issue at the end I mean it's it's more complicated to to do the, the to get the intention to go to that and include the video in your collection and know how to display it and how to save it and how to preserve it and so on so um, so the price once you are in um, I think there is a big offer for a very very still very very reasonable price okay look um, works in different ways I mean the festival of course has each space or each venue or each museum has their own policies and their interest and they do whatever they want of course wouldn't be different wouldn't be logical to be different and the fair it's a fair only by invitation we have four collectors who are very very informed and they spend many hours through the year in watching and and and, and you know following the path and following the the, the, the the new tendencies and those are the people who actually invite the galleries to present a piece just one piece, one single piece. I mean, we all understand that video, it's very time-based and time-consuming. So, um, in the beginning, we were open to show several pieces, but we decided to squeeze it and to focus the interest in just one piece, because the most important thing is out of that piece, of that presentation, actually to create a real relation and a way of you know, a, a, an open communication with the audience, whether if it's a, a, a collector, a client, whether if it's a curator. The important thing is that the gallery, the artists, get to have the opportunity to talk and to build a new uh, opportunity out of being in Barcelona. It's not, it's not, it's not expensive at all. The, the, the prices, it's, uh, it's less than 4,500 euros and we provide everything the, 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 uh, if you are invited to participate actually you just you could come with the data whatever whether if it's a, a disc or a DVD or something the rest is provided by the by the organization so we have rooms and the room is already placed with either monitors or beamers and it's very easy it's very easy I mean we we want the people that actually come to have a nice experience, everyone, starting from the galleries. Every year we do a survey after the after the the loop, both in galleries, visitors, people in the fe in the festival, and try to imagine what would be what would be next. More and more we see that every year loop gets more sophisticated. The pieces evolve. There is. Um, higher quality artists are working with better um, means and better uh, quality projects and uh, the selection is being harder for the committee uh, but I don't think we are at the stage of changing the actual presentation we've been invited to consider taking them to a museum space to our 
wider, you know, like m more biennial or museum presentation. But it's so important, the connection between people. And as you know, we organize the presentations inside of hotel rooms. Why is that? The hotel is already has everything that you need, but it's, you know, has electricity, has darkness, has everything, and at the same time, it's an intimate space. It's amazing how easy it is to talk to someone, even if it's the most serious collector, the most influential curator, but when you see them next to you in your room, becomes a complicity that it's totally impossible in another context. So I don't think we could change places, we could change sizes of, 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 or, look, or, or, or the gap in the agenda, but the format, I think this is the format, this is it.